How's it going guys? It's Mr. Lone Wolf. And uh, today, sadly, day three, without any mods, it's still denying me. It's still, well, it sent me an email eventually for yesterday's request. It sent me that at like half five, now yesterday again. <laughs> Basically about 12 hours after I asked for it. So uh, yeah, still pretty pretty long as far as that goes. <laughs> That's definitely what she said. Uh, so instead I got bored, I went to go and fly a trailer. I was trying out the uh, Western Star 49X. Yeah, I'm just going to mess around for a bit. <laughs> I mean, that's what I've kind of been doing all night. Well, for a large portion of the night, I was just left on the menu thing at the beginning with the mod browser. So I'd already entered my email. It was saying into the security code. Like I said, they send a new code every time. So if you back out of where it asks to enter a security code, when I eventually get it, I'll have to re-enter an email to get to that bit. And then it'll send another code. So I had to leave it open on that window all night. Still didn't get a code. Um, tomorrow I might just try a different email, I don't know, but it'll set off a chain of events where I'll go to use the email that my PS4 is on, and then I'll need to get into that email to see the password, and then I won't remember my own password, and then it'll say click here if you forgot your password, and then it'll no doubt say with text the password reset thing to your old phone. Then I'll go and have to find my old phone which won't turn on. Then I'll have to go and find a charger lead which will no doubt be dodgy and won't charge the phone. <laughs> then I'll have to go and order one off eBay. Then it'll probably say my card has expired two minutes ago and I've now got to get a different card. Then I'll try and contact my bank that will be on some magical holiday that I've never had before or since but because of something they are. And yeah, it'll just be one of those things. <laughs> it's like starting a game of Elder Scrolls Oblivion where you have to just deliver one thing you own right at the beginning to somebody 10 foot away, but they say, well, before I can give you this, you just need to go and do this favour for me. And then you find that person and they say, well, just do this quickly. And then you do a lap of the whole map of about 200 people. Yeah, that's what's about to happen with my life if I try and attempt another email. <laughs> this is why I just avoid all this stuff normally. As uh, yeah, I was saying to someone, I just like to keep pressing X repeatedly until something works. So we'll see. Until then, I'm going to go and fly some trailers, mess around. Do a couple of different bits and bobs. Somebody's messed my uh, pristine beach up. Spent a lot of time keeping this tidy. Um, yeah, in the end, just by pure chance, I flew off the cliff. I landed upside down on my crane. I actually did pretty well flying down here. I've done this before. It's not my first time <laughs> flying a kite. Um, trucks jump down there pretty well when you're flying a kite. But it's just, if you jump two in the middle, you kind of land on the rock at the bottom and it tips you over. Yeah, <laughs> it went to hit it with a dolphin. Would have been a really nice hit right on the top, but... A little too high, went over the top. So then I brought Dolphin and Loaf. I needed something to slow me down a bit. I mean, how many times I've got to tell you he's a goddamn professional? He always makes it back to his wheels. Obviously, I didn't do any rescue or anything this time because it's doubtful I'll ever manage to get a, uh, a Western Star balancing on its crane ever again. So there's no point in flipping over out of any trucks as well. The Western Star's like pretty light, really. So that'll be one of the easier ones. That would have been about perfect if I was slightly over to the right. Yeah, as far as a bit of bug news and that goes, um, they've removed the Super Boron Grad and sorted the winch, and I believe I added it back to the mod browser. Somebody was saying as far as, like, because it seems to have jumped across and glitched all the advanced medium winches, I believe, um, they ended up buying a load of Fleet Stars, attaching those winches to the Fleet Stars, and they've just kind of now left them in their garage, they won't touch them again. That's one way of possibly getting rid of the winches, because I haven't got the mod menu and, you know, I haven't got the dodgy winch myself, I can't really test it, but... It sounds, I, I get what he's saying, given the situation. And lastly, people are asking uh, how to properly use an emergency deployment loaf. So I just wanted to show you, that's where I parked the P12 at the minute. I kind of reverse up diagonally to that fence. Uh, I'm next to the stop sign painted on the floor. You can see my front left tyre of the P12 is kind of on a darker patch of uh, tarmac. I just kind of sit it there. It's sort of the way when you're driving out the garage. That's roughly parallel to the way you drive, so that's where I put it. Um, yeah, there's two ways. You can obviously lift the loaf from the new winch point in the middle at the top, or from the back. <laughs> now, personally, I prefer it from the back. <laughs> That's definitely what she said. Um, yeah, grab your loaf, start lifting it up. I mean, look at it. It's like a scene from uh, Jurassic Park where they're loading a cow into the Velociraptor cage. Although, fair warning, if you stick a loaf in a Velociraptor cage, you'll eat the fucking lot of them. That's actually how they got the uh, sound and everything made that scene in Jurassic Park. And just one single loaf was hidden somewhere in those bushes and they lowered a cow in, and obviously yeah you heard what happened so that's all I know if you don't want to hear this then yeah you don't want to stick a loaf in a velociraptor cage no one can afford that many velociraptors 
Um, anyway, this is an attempt from yesterday, which is, yeah, lifting the uh, loaf from, like, the middle winch point. And as you can see, every now and then it goes right, but it's not as good as the other way. Like, um, as far as lifting the loaf up, I kind of get it just above the writing on the crane. And, yeah, I, I usually use the dolphin, so I stick it in high range. It flies along pretty nicely. It's about, like, it's one of those sort of gut feelings. I've been doing it for a while. The loaf is a goddamn professional, so... He knows what he's doing. Um, yeah, this is when you actually winch it from the back, which I think is a hell of a lot better. It just, you'll see, it goes more smoothly. When you drop it from the top winch, it kind of lands its front wheels. It's trying to land flat, and it bounces off the roof and sort of tries to flip back and all sorts. When you do it this way, it's like the front of the loaf catches the front of the dolphin, sort of where the fog lights are, and then it kind of just flips its way around into the uh, flatbed or sideboard, whatever. And it, uh, yeah, it goes pretty well. Again, kind of lifting-wise, the front bumper's about level with the top of the right-in on the crane. I probably could have lifted it, like, a little little smidge higher. Um, yeah, and then all you do to leave the loaf locked there is, like, just go into your menu, go to your garage, grab your dolphin, and now the loaf is kind of just locked there. The crane's already disconnected, but the physics are holding it in place. And then, yeah, get your dolphin. You can see the loaf's there already. Kind of line it up. I just know roughly to aim for that stop sign thing written on the floor. Drive through, there you go. I mean, goddamn professional, every now and then, a little dab of handbrake if it uh, starts wheeling. Mostly it doesn't, though. And, uh, yeah, that's it, I mean, that's an emergency deployment loaf. He's hooked his wheels over the sideboard pretty well. Uh, I tried a few things, by the way. I'm not, I wasn't able to pack the truck at the minute. It doesn't just, like, jump back into the cage or anything. It's a bit more restrictive as packing vehicles than it is with cargo. Cargo sort of jumps around a bit. Uh, yeah, driving around, messing around, <laughs> I rolled, but as you can see... One of the many reasons you get yourself a goddamn horse of a vehicle. He gets himself back. And to be honest, there was a few glitches here anyway, so I just cut out like the little faffing around. It was only about 30 seconds odd, but... Reverse up. Scoot the dolphin round so it's kind of on a little bit more of a hill that's a little bit more advantageous. And sometimes, stick a winch on. Give yourself a little bit of a run-up. And go for it. Bam. And there's one rescued dolphin. Again, just one of one of many reasons to get yourself a loaf. Uh, yeah, here's a few other just attempts. This is what I'm showing you. It's a lot easier when you're winching it from the back. It just, I mean, it just works. Again, possibly a little dab of handbrake. To be honest, it never really used to wheelie like that a lot. Uh, when it landed down, it landed probably the worst place you could get it with the wheels like perfectly on that little lip at the edge of the sideboard. And for some reason, the trucks always steer like hard left or hard right, so it kind of scooted over a bit. But as you can see, it was still in there. I wasn't able to pack it as well though in that situation. So I was just messing around doing a couple of runs. Um, compared to doing that one where I dropped it from the roof, which is why I used yesterday's footage, that was, took bloody ages considering. It was like one out of five times I probably got it in there. Now, I would say really it was about 9 out of 10 that I actually landed in and didn't fall out or anything there was a few times that yeah there was a wheel poking out to the side that's more you got to line it up nicely obviously when you're rotating you got to rotate your loaf everyone knows that that's just basic knowledge um yeah get it get it lined up right and it goes uh pretty smoothly if I do say so myself see catches on the front of the dolphin he's in there little dab of handbrake little dabble do ya and there you go emergency deployment loaf I mean, he's standing on the roof at the minute because he's trying to get a good, old, good eyeball of the horizon, see which is the uh, better route to take. Once he knows, once he's relayed that information to my dolphin, he starts slowly scooting back. as a little glitch, not an uh, edit. He scoots back, he's in his uh, sideboard, and then while I was driving along now, I don't normally do it, I'll just drive along like this, but I went to go and see if I could pack the loaf. Sadly, I mean, yeah, it doesn't let you pack the loaf until you're basically stopped. What kind of nonsensical rubbish is that? We all know a loaf is capable of being packed at 50 miles an hour. It's just standard issue. Um, yeah, I believe that's about it. Oh yeah, another thing. I did, I've did. i started like a new new playthrough. There's a few people saying it, and it's a good idea, I think, as well. Um, starting like a new playthrough, so as and when I eventually get mods one day, I can dream. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll test it kind of on that, so at least if it does start fiddling with that game, it'll break the newer playthrough, not like my, uh, yeah, my good playthrough with all my... All my good stuff, all the professionals, Dolphins, Bruce's, John's, all sorts. Yeah, for some reason it wouldn't get over this barrier, but <laughs> to be honest, I don't really spend very long trying. Um, yeah, that's about it for today, though. I hope you enjoy. Get yourself an emergency deployment loaf. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon.